Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Yanni Rude. And I'm just Terrell. You ever been out somewhere and overheard two people having crazy conversations? <laughs> a little, well, little we all those relapse people. there. <laughs> we all those people have been having these conversations since college. Apparently, sometimes a little harder than other times. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's the Regular Guys Random Thoughts podcast, Ready to Love, Season 9, Fort Worth, Texas recap be sure to like subscribe rate and leave a review yeah yo and hit that like button right now <laughs> i had to uh so i had I, I went and had five pounds of crawfish while i was watching the uh one of them tried to come uh, back up south carolina no the spices <laughs> man the, the, this, it was really spicy like when you're sucking the head sometimes that juice gets there and it was it uh -huh. hit me a little bit so i had to get some water but great game i think it's I think it's one of those water bugs trying to climb back out your stomach. That's Is all. it? It's trying to come back out? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Out. Congratulations to uh, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Yes. What did I tell you? In the words of Wesley Snipes. <laughs> <laughs> you already know where I'm going. You already know where I'm going. <laughs> I only had to finish it. <laughs> Always bet on black. That's what you're about to say. Yes. <laughs> Sad. It, it, hey, that game win. Either way, it was good. Passenger 57. <laughs> Debbie, don't you dare curse us like that. You know, hey guys, how did you enjoy my city? We, we enjoyed it. But that last, those last two words, those are curse words. Can't even say them. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, you can't. And then obviously, you know, my frat brother Sean doesn't eat crawfish or doesn't know how to eat crawfish right. Um, if you don't understand what sucking the head on the crawfish means, get your mind out the no gutter. Diddy. Yeah. No diddy. No stop, diddy. Stop pulling an Alonzo and making everything sexual. <laughs> hey, did you choke? Did, did you choke and spank that, that yeah. crawfish? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what happened when you had that crawfish. That's why it's trying to come back. Come, it's coming back for seconds. <laughs> hey, so look, definitely ha um, had a good time uh, going to Dallas. Uh, you saw the 24 hours. You saw the um, reel that we put. Um, by the way, Nikki B agrees with you. Head on shrimp of fire, too. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, we'll tell you about the, the whole the the um the watch party and whatnot. But first, let's get through this the stuff. The stuff that we actually all had to watch at the same time. Um, and this is kind of what we're waiting for, right? Here's what we do know. It was filmed in October, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so here we are now, months later, ready for this, kicking all off with, uh, Patrice and Alonzo. And this one, um, interesting, 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 because Patrice says, uh, Alonzo gave her a key to the house. Then she pulled up one day and there's a woman there that she had never met before. His Problem? friend girl. <laughs> yes. It's his friend girl. Well, don't, you know, it could be, it's potentially, mm -hmm. it could be. Mm -hmm. Now the way Alonzo explained it on, uh, on the reunion that this is just his friend. And I think his Jeep broke down and she had came by and he would go get groceries, comes back and Patrice is, is there in a different car than she normally doesn't drive. And mm -hmm. so she wants to talk. And apparently Patrice met up with this friend girl that Alonzo said on the reunion that I've not done anything with this girl. Like, it's just my friend. So then Patrice mm -hmm. says, yeah, I, I met up with her and they had sex <laughs> in May while we were in this process. And then Alonzo was like, yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, until you knew, we hadn't done anything. And yeah. What, <laughs> that's, I, I'm, using, I'm using Alonzo logic right here because part of it was like, I think he was trying to say, which he ends up trying to say later, which is look, um, we're not doing anything now. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Okay, okay. It sounds wild. It's 
and and you know what? We'll, we spoke to Alonzo, and we're, we're gonna we're working to get him on and have him defend himself. So I'm not gonna try to defend him too much, but I just want to ask this question, ladies: When you go on vacation, does Dexter, Dexter Saint Jacques count? Because it's out of the country. <laughs> Yeah, that's not even apples to apples. <laughs> it's not, but I'm just trying to help the brother yeah. out. <laughs> you, you must have been all over Netflix this weekend because you're just all over the place. <laughs> These stories. <laughs> but, hey, you know I can quote um, say, uh, Chris Rock all the time. So, But yeah, it's, it's, so, it's one of those things where they weren't doing it at the time. But he said, look, hey, if I got something to hide, then why would I give you a key? Which I do understand. Because right. if you give somebody the key to your house, they no longer have, like, I have a rule. Oh, I had a rule, I should say. Don't show up at my, but it still applies. So don't ever try to, <laughs> I always had a rule. Never show up at my house without calling first. And don't okay. think you're slick. Get to the, get outside and then call. Mm -mm, that don't work. I will sit there with the windows open and look at you at the front door and never answer the door or the phone, right? But if you give somebody a key, they no longer have to call. It's a free reign to walk in at any time. So no, why would you, what you mean no? No, it's no, it's not. I keep my gun in the nightstand. If somebody just walked in with a key to my house at midnight, I, well, they know there's going to be accidents. <laughs> That's good happen. But no, I don't think just because you have a key to someone's house that you just have carte blanche to show up whenever mm -hmm. you want and walk right in the house. No, I don't think that's I don't think that's the case. Mm -hmm. But and but I get what he was doing. He was just trying to say, hey, look, you know, we're going to be together. This was within three days after um, they chose each other. So he gave her the key, thought mm -hmm. nothing of it. Um, we'd have to have him be able to explain that story, but just the way it came out on the reunion, mm -hmm. it, it's something don't smell right. See, look, Jay say so ex uh, is right there with me. Key means no need to call. Exactly. You don't need to call, so you're coming over. I mean, you can, but you don't need to. Now, here's where Ariadne is saying, like, hey, he still slept with his friend during the ready to love process. Okay, but he wasn't with anybody yet, and you know, human beings have needs. Yeah, you I got mean, a friend. You got a friend that wants to help you out. Who doesn't want a friend like that? <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep those kind of friends around. <laughs> uh, sometimes you need a little help from your friends. There's a song about it. I'm just saying, it's a thing. <laughs> Now, Jay Blake says the, the key was for when she works and doesn't feel like driving home. <laughs> right. I just don't think because you give someone a key that they can just easily show up, walk in your house whenever they want to. I just think, hey, you have a key in case I'm gone. You're, you need to run in. You need to change. You want to crash my place while I'm not there. You have a key. But it doesn't mean you just yeah. show up whenever you want. Okay. So here... Uh Okay, a couple of things here, because a lot of people have a lot to say on this, right? Um, Nikki B says, my friend gave her guy a key. He popped up and ruined my 21st birthday because her slide was at my house party. Dumb as F, right? So basically, her side, uh, her friend's side piece was there. <laughs> and, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Dorica said, look, if you're my man, I'm definitely showing up unannounced. It should be considered a pleasant surprise. Only if I gave you a key, if you show up unannounced without a key, because the key says no need to call any other time, you better call. What well, you say? if I give someone a key to my house mm -hmm. and they show up unannounced during the day or while I'm awake, okay, mm -hmm. I let that slide. But you show up <laughs> in my house two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> it's going to be gunshots. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching the movies. I don't need to open the door. Look, I just start shooting through the bedroom door. Who is out there? Bam, 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 bam. And then I open the door and see what happens. Well, okay, here's the difference. If she knows you have the gun in the nightstand and it's late at night, then, oh, yeah, they're going to call first, right? Well, according to you, they don't have to. No, to you, you don't, they, have, they don't to. have to call first. But they can I just also wasn't talk, I wasn't talk, I wasn't talking about coming and trying to shoot people. <laughs> it's like you are, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shoot first, saying. ask questions later. I know, yeah, I'm going to shoot first, then I go investigate. <laughs> On the other side of this, Y Valentine says, meeting with a woman to talk in person is juvenile, remedial, and crazy. Told a lot about mm -hmm. Patrice. Well, she just wanted to find out. Yeah. Right? So I mean, hey, look, if you have to, questions, like, some... go to the source. Yeah, she just wanted to find out because she felt like he wasn't telling her the truth. Women's intuition kicks in. Something told her something's not right. And she wanted to go find out and 
she found out some things that she probably wasn't happy with. Now, all the mm. other stuff she was saying about tested for STDs, and I, I feel like that was a bad editing job because I don't understand where she was going with all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I get that. Um, by the way, Michelle says she has no problem going to the source. I agree. Hey, hey you got to go, go find out because you didn't believe this, right? Now, here's the other thing. Is it possible to have sex with a friend and remain friends if y'all stop having sex? Because yeah. that's what Alonzo says it was. Look, we had sex. Yes, we were friends. We're not doing that anymore. We're still friends. It's okay. I think you can, but also you don't have a girlfriend that has a key to your house. And then this mm -hmm. friend is just hanging out. You don't do that. Y'all can be friends from a distance or y'all can be friends when she, when Patrice is there, she can come over as long as Patrice mm -hmm. is there. So right. I think that's a little bit messy and you know, it's interesting. What's interesting to me was watching Alonzo watch this at the mm -hmm. reunion watch party. Cause I think this was his first time seeing mm -hmm. how it got edited. So right. it'd be interesting to see what but he has to say about it. Ariadne says only if it had been years since they had um, last had sex, not a month prior. Well, it was May and then the reunion was October. So yeah. but we don't know when distance. this other thing yet. Yeah, when did they meet up? Was it June? Was it July? Was it August? Was it September? Because now you're putting a couple more months in between. Is that does that make the difference? I'm just saying it wasn't a month. It was a lot longer than a month. <laughs> That's all I was saying. <laughs> you see, hey, <laughs> hey. So here's what Tommy jumps in and says, look, you can't have someone who you've dealt with take you to the store. And Alonzo asks, well, if we have nothing going on, why not? So I, I, I mean, I understand his logic. It may be flawed because people are probably looking at it as, you know, stress relief in a glass case. Another take on the Chris Rock joke. But anyway. <laughs> well, your, your, your first joke was Eddie Murphy, but that's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> now, um, Patrice talks about these other three women. And she never really said how she found out about these other three women, right? Right. Or did I miss right. that? No, no, that's what I'm saying. I think a lot was edited that we didn't get a chance to hear the whole story. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, Lonzo's got a lot of explaining to do. And, um, you know, so we'll let him defend, defend himself in that space. But, you know, we'll, 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 we'll get him on. Um, he's, he wants to come on and talk about it. So we'll let him talk. And you guys get to ask him those questions directly because, you know, this, this is coming back up. Because, a matter of fact, there's another part we'll get to with Alonzo um, in a little bit as well, too. But one of the things um, that did come up next was the millionaire. Well, <laughs> cash money, <laughs> the whole, the whole scenario who was also not at the reunion watch party. Right. But the whole thing about him in the house and sleeping on the floor, did this make sense to you? Any more sense this time around than the last time? Uh, as Will says, anyone with the common sense of a billy goat knows. <laughs> Yo, that was hilarious. I was like, millionaires don't say stuff like that. Okay, well, millionaires don't say stuff like that. Are you but, sure? Because Patrice didn't really know what stage meant. She thought stage is the house is empty. Tommy was uh -huh. like, well, I thought stage is the furniture and the whatever. And so uh, I agree with Will that people should know what staged means. What was mm -hmm. funny to me is that Patrice said, well, he said he was going to go sleep in his covers. He never said a bed, so I assumed it's either on the okay. floor or on the counter. I was like, what? <laughs> Why would you think that? I, I, I did not. Okay, that's the part I didn't get. Okay, yeah. do, I have to, do I have to specify I'm, I'm about to get under the covers? <laughs> in my bed. In my room. By myself. Does he have to? I, I yeah. mean, that. I think I think it was uh, maybe just because she didn't understand what staging was. Is that what it is? I, I don't know. You know, my mom worked in real estate for 40 plus years, so I'm well versed in what staging is. So I, I know. And maybe there's mm -hmm. some people that don't. My thing is just because someone says I'm going to jump in the covers, that doesn't mean they don't have a bed. It just mm -hmm. means they're getting in the covers. Like we say it all the time, I'm getting covers, I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, well, yeah. are, do you have a bed? Are you on the floor? Just the covers? That's it? Not on top of a mattress? Mm -hmm. Like, who would think that? By the way, just want to point out, so Little Black Book um, uh, had Will on, right? And um, JMF said he did more clearing up on Little Black Book um, 
he definitely is arrogant. Um, v says Will showed his Rolls Royce on Little Black Book, and Najee also said the same thing. He joined Little Black Book last night, and he proved he is wealthy. Well, there's a lot of rappers that show Rolls Royces in videos. Only that's theirs. <laughs> <laughs> so, and if he is wealthy, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to yeah, say that. <laughs> I mean, but and if he is wealthy, who cares? I think you know our point when he first came on to the show was if you're balling like that, why do you have to talk about it? You know, you don't that, have to but, say okay, all those it's things. let's let's be real though. That's that's the it's the hip hop culture to brag on what you have, right? So I can't fault him for that. I'm I'll say, look, if I'm wealthy, I'm not telling you I'm wealthy. You either know or you don't know, right? But that's me. Right. I can't speak for him. And that's him. I mean I also am not going to wear a big ass medallion chain, but you know what? That's not, that's me. That's not him. He's going to wear that. Right. Yeah. Again, I can't, I, I can't say that for him, but you know, uh, Michelle also says he was on Kojo's channel defending himself um, to stop bragging about what you have. So you won't get hemmed up. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's the point. Now here's the other thing though. People are also going at Patrice on this because Michelle says Patrice put out a false narrative, put a false narrative out there. She should have apologized. And Debbie's right there with us saying Patrice was wrong. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Well, she was wrong for, for mm -hmm. saying that because for her to just to, to go to that leap that when he said I'm getting mm -hmm. the covers that he doesn't have a bed that he's sleeping on, you know, that makes mm -hmm. no sense. And then for her to tell people that without clarifying or just ask him you're on the phone mm -hmm. just ask him hey wait a minute what? so this stage house is there a bed in there or are you just sleeping in the covers he'd be like no i have a fully furnished house it's staged this has helped me sell it and i'm going to go sleep in the bed that happens to have covers on it that i think are comfortable <laughs> miss speed <laughs> miss speed racist says well he said it after saying he moved out of his apartment and put his furniture in storage so that's probably what confused her if she doesn't know what staging is right um, and Casey says staging looks like furniture, but it's not always actual furniture, so it's iffy. Well, Terrell's house is staged, <laughs> and, it, and it actually is real furniture, though. <laughs> yeah, and it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Blake says Patrice's ego wouldn't allow her to apologize. She definitely didn't. Um, and and here's the thing, Michelle's also kind of funny. He said he was sleeping in property he owns right that's the one thing i didn't understand too just going to sleep at i gave up my apartment to be in these things right and and again different strokes for different folks because you've been to apartment complexes and seeing people with porsches you see people with uh <laughs> i haven't seen a bentley yet or rolls royce in an apartment but you've seen a, a, other expensive cars in apartment complexes right some people are like hey yeah i just i don't want to i'd rather somebody else fix shit when it when it goes bad right yeah I mean, something is broken as opposed to me having to pay for that, so whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he could he could own ten properties. Who cares? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. all about how he came across to the ladies. That's really what it was. It wasn't just the mm -hmm. sleep on the floor thing because that what's not what bothered Koshia or Mika is because they felt that he was thirsty, which he mm -hmm. the editing did make him look thirsty in a couple yeah. episodes early on because we we called said that, that we said that in the first episode first episode we called it out. Because he was very aggressive with with um, Koshia. Yeah. So that was part of, the, part of the main reason. I don't think that was, you know, the whole sleeping on the floor thing is the end all be all to him. But that's when it got a little spicy because then Mika started going off on Will. Yes. You know, then yeah, Alexis got into it. I was just like, where all this come from? Yo, when Will tried to go back at, at Mika and then like, hey, well, you got a BBL, you know, your body ain't real. And she's like, well, your chain ain't real. <laughs> yeah, she said, she said, you're built bad. <laughs> your chain ain't real. Now, educate me. What's what's a BBL? Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Brazilian butler. Oh, OK, got it. Got it. Yeah, you I mean, obviously they they don't like obviously you haven't been on Spirit Airlines coming back into the country from the Dominican Republic anytime uh, recently. Because you'd see no. them laid out in the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, obviously, they don't like each other. But then Alexis starts going off on Koshia and Mika and said mm -hmm. that between the two of them, they have half a brain. Mm -hmm. And that I like how Mika's like, why, why is it the people who are on the show the, the shortest amount talking the most? Yeah, because <laughs> Alexis was the evolution of Alexis was real on this uh, reunion episode. 
<laughs> yes, this really was. Every, this, the previews alone made you really start to second guess your admiration for Alexis this whole season, huh? A lot, you know. I mean, I, I could, I could take, I could take a little spicy, right? I could take someone that could be a little spicy. It's fine. I should have changed oh, your picture. My, oh my goodness, she is <laughs> off the chain. Like I had no idea. And I guess this is what Laron was trying to allude to, but they couldn't say anything because the episode hadn't mm -hmm. aired yet. Right. But I'm just looking at this Alexis that I'm seeing, the the Christian that I pray with, and then now seeing her want to fight everybody and talk all this trash about everybody. Wow. Does this make you now think, you know what? So she isn't as Christian-like as she was putting on in the early episodes, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> no, not, not after seeing that. No. Hey, and Moon Dance wanted to know, did I get a shot of your face when Alexis went off? I didn't have to because he'd already seen the previews. If he had never seen the preview, then, uh, yeah, I probably would have been waiting for him to see that and be like, what? Not my baby. <laughs> yeah, I was just, uh, no, I couldn't. Imagine, imagine bringing her to the family reunion. She's trying to go off and some cousins, they going to wind up beating her ass and I got to let them do it because they're family. Yeah. I can't, <laughs> you know, but hey, well, you know, Alexis, this is what happens. Stop talking all that trash. But man, she, she, I mean, I just don't, she has some serious um, anger issues or something. I don't know. Something's not right there. Mm -hmm. By the way, um, Klebe says uh, Mika is mean and messy for, um, I guess, for the things that she was saying about um, Will, because Will, I mean, she really kind of went off on Will, but at the same time, Will was firing back at her too, so. Yeah, and she and goes, I like no points for fake bodies. <laughs> yeah. I like how Tommy tried to like interject and say, hey, we gotta be respectful to each other, especially as black people, we gotta stop doing this, because the mm -hmm. way they were all just talking to each other, I feel like they're all too old to be doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, these aren't, right. this isn't the real world when you're in your you know early 20s. You know, too mm -hmm. old to be talking to people like that. And I, I wonder for, and ladies in the chat, let me know, if, you, if you're single and you see a guy that talks to women like this on TV, mm -hmm. wouldn't that make you not interested in him whatsoever? Because I feel like that's a bad look for you, Will. If you are trying to date, don't mm -hmm. be disrespectful to women like that. Now, even though they disrespected you first, but don't be a kid about it. Just be like, okay, well, you're rich. You got all your stuff. You don't care what they think. So just mm -hmm. move on and let it go, but don't uh, stoop down to their same level. Pull the Michelle Obama. When they go low, you go high. Oh, take it to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's where he sleeps. He don't mess his bed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look, there's so much going on in the chat right now, right? Um, where Michelle says like, hey, real money doesn't brag. And Jay says, y'all, people in the comments, don't know actual wealthy people. Wealthy people do brag. Okay. <laughs> Trump, Trump brags. Trump brags a lot. So I guess you're right. He's no, because he's not. He's not as wealthy as he pretends to be. By the way, I wonder if the, if, if Will is in the chat. Is this Will? Is is, is Clebe Will? Because I lost respect for Patrice at the reunion. She was dead wrong for not apologizing. Will really is wealthy. He owns four properties. I think Patrice should have apologized too, but I couldn't I imagine Will would come in here on a fake name, fake account, and talk about himself in third person. So I would say mm -hmm. no, that's not Will in the chat. She also said I saw nothing wrong with his chain. If he likes it, I like it. I'm just saying. It's just it sounds. Like, hey, if I had a burner account, <laughs> these are the kind of things I would be saying. <laughs> These are the kind of things I'll be saying, hey, I see nothing wrong with the chain. Again, I'm, and I'm not saying anything about the chain because I know people who like big, gaudy jewelry like that. I'm not one of them, and that's cool. I know people who love rims on their car. That's never been me. I don't judge you for it. It don't make you this or that, though. So, I'm just saying. True, but Patrice should have apologized because she every, have. all the other reasons the ladies weren't interested in Will is fine, but... The whole mm -hmm. thing about him sleeping on the floor was wrong and she didn't understand what staging meant. So I think she did owe him an apology at that point. Yeah. Um, now, the la before we get out of this, right? I just want, before we get off Will real quick, um, there's a couple of comments I had, had gotten here, um, especially dealing with him on, on why Valentine said he 
also purposely showed a gun on live. Really? Didn't you see what happened? I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see it either. I didn't see it, so I don't know if that's true or not. And he he said he's telling us this stuff because black folks don't believe him. Uh, Which, true. Because when he said it about being a millionaire, a lot of people, we didn't believe him. A lot of people didn't believe him. And so he feels he has to defend his, I got to defend my honor, right? And I can't fault him for, for trying to defend himself in that matter because at the end of the day that's what we ask people to do defend yourself if 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 this is not the case then say that that it's right i hate that he has to because for me i'd be like all right that's fine you can think i'm broke i'll what i'll watch your broke ass how about that but again right. that's me yeah i say if, so. if you got the money check out other dating services like it's just lunch where they get matchmakers mm-hmm. they find people that same kind of economic status and class that you are you don't have to go on the show mm-hmm. For that. Yeah, and you could afford it because it's you know because <laughs> you have the money. You don't have to go on the show. So <laughs> yeah, Michelle says all races didn't believe him. <laughs> hey, don't blame us. God damn. <laughs> She's the whole of everybody. <laughs> oh my god! And I oh here's the thing. I can't say this though, Karen, because Karen says if he was rich, he would not be on Ready to Love. Okay, here's the difference, and I think we need to. Maybe this is this becomes the question at some point. It's another random thought. The difference between rich and wealthy, because they are two different things, according to well, the great philosopher Christopher Rockenstein. <laughs> well, they are two different things, but that that probably won't be a topic we have because you got people people don't understand the difference and what it means to right. one is different to what it means to the other. So that's one of well, those so does first, second, and third base. <laughs> yeah. First, second, and third base the same way. We don't have a picture of this next guy because obviously he never showed up, but he finally showed up to the reunion. Um, Glenn. And they're like, oh, yeah. he's real, huh? <laughs> Nobody yeah. thought he was a real person. Yeah. So he showed up and his reason for not you know, making it was you know, nervous and all that. He dropped his kid off at school, comes home, starts mm-hmm. to pack, gets in a car accident. And mm-hmm. then I guess then he got to the cab that was trying to drive him to the deal. And whatever reason, he 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 backed out. And Alexis was like, that sounds like a cop out. <laughs> man, could have been an accident. You know, who knows? But at least he showed up. They all got a chance to meet him. I thought it was cool for Tommy to let him speed date with mm-hmm. everyone else that he's probably already watched the season with. So I thought that was I'm like, I wonder who he's going to who he's going to really like or not like. Um, well, you said, you know why? Um, Marsha says, why was Glenn there? Jay, Jay Blake says, Glenn should, could have stayed home. <laughs> and Miss Sophie says they could have skipped Glenn. I mean, did you, did you get anything out of his speed date that was going nope. on besides the fact that he likes April's nails? Nope, not at all. I was going to wait until, see what happens on the part two and see what yeah. comes out of that. But other than that, it was great. Glenn's there. And then, you know, that's about all there was with that. Michelle says it was Philistine. Why bother? And Dorica says too much time was spent on Glenn. Don't worry. We're not spending that much time on him. Moving on to uh, somebody that uh, we liked when we saw her for the two minutes we got to see her. Laylin. Um, yeah. She was she was out. And she, she said that was because we said the reason why she left. Right? There really was the family emergency. At least speculate. At least I, I know I speculated right. that, hey, maybe there really wasn't a family emergency just like, yeah, I ain't feeling any of these guys. I'm out, right? Um, but she says no. She had some connections. You believe her? Yeah, I mean, but I, I, I believe that she had some connections. I also believe that she could have had some family stuff and she wanted to kind of walk away from it and, and focus on that. I think all of that's great. Um, mm-hmm. After watching the season, and I don't know Laylin, she wasn't at the party that we were at in Dallas, so I didn't get a chance to meet her. I don't know, mm-hmm. her, but mm-hmm. she seems on a different level than some of these folks that we've seen throughout the season. And so part of me also thinks that, as Laurent said, both things could be true. She, mm-hmm. yeah, she had connections. She did have a family thing, but also she wasn't feeling this process or any <laughs> of these people. So she bounced. Michelle says Leland was not having it. Don't blame her. <laughs> Michelle said Leland said, nah, I'm good. Because, yeah, you want to date any of these guys? Nope. I'm, I'm dating. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm dating. I'm actively dating none of these people, but I'm actively dating. Yeah, she was nice, classy yeah. about the whole thing. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did kind of she did kind of cur- smooth curve that question, right? Just like, all right, let me get out of here. Um, well, you knew this was going to come up. Didn't know whether it was going to be this part or the second part. Choke to spank, Alonzo. And interesting thing about this: when this segment was on, <laughs> I'm watching his reaction, and he yeah. is laughing, yeah. <laughs> laughing hysterically watching this segment on here right and so i go back i'm watching it again now right and tommy he's like all right well i'm dying to hear how uh, choked or spanked is not sexual and to be fair alonzo did a terrible job of explaining it right um uh, awful <laughs> job of explaining it because he says anyone that has ever been kissed before has been choked I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I just, I don't choke girls to kiss them. I was just like, what are you talking about? The way he explained it, it just didn't, it didn't sound right uh-huh. in, in it, it, at all. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I was just floored that that's how he broke it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, so the thing that he did say, and it doesn't justify it and we'll we'll get him to exp- to try to explain it but at the end of the day he goes it's it's not up to me where your mind goes when i ask you that question <laughs> <laughs> that you know here's a funny thing and you know why i laugh at that because he knows that's bullshit <laughs> he knows that no, no. But, he knows it but but, but you know it's like it's, it's like, well, I, I didn't say black people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he will be a great politician. <laughs> a great politician. Uh, yeah, because he says it like this is like, it almost makes you question it for a second. Like, well, I guess I kind of see his. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, the sexual. <laughs> it is. Uh, that was that that was crazy. But I, I agree with Koshia that if you're not feeling somebody and they ask you something mm-hmm. like that, if y'all are kind of in that, you know, having that connection with each other where you can ask that and y'all can talk about it, great. But if she's not feeling that with you, then she doesn't have to answer that question. I agree with that 100%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Laurent knows. Chaz yeah. knows. Chaz knows. <laughs> you saw Chaz's smile. He's just... <laughs> He's like, I showed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But okay, here's the other thing too, because and here's why I call BS, right? If you're kissing someone of the opposite sex, is that not or, the or prelude sex. or or se- adult kissing? You're kissing someone. <laughs> yes. A, a, adult. Uh, well, I, I, I gotta I gotta put this adult kissing that's not um, uh, family related. It's by, I gotta say this, you gotta get me up going here, because otherwise this is gonna go really bad really fast. It may really have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kissing. <laughs> Outside of the family, yeah. except in certain parts of the country, um, <laughs> would be sexual. Or oh, the prelude right. too, right? So right. It's, it is sexual, regardless. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it is. I can't imagine what scenario you would kiss and choke somebody uh, if it wasn't sexual or sexual assault it's still sexual right there's nothing positive about that so maybe he will help clarify that when he when he comes on but yeah i still walked away from that whole thing going come on man that was sexual hey michelle says i'm fighting you if you choke me <laughs> you know cdo might you just this is bad you thought he has to choke so they don't get away stop it <laughs> <laughs> James says it was hundred. It was sexual, one hundred percent. That was just Alonzo holding on to that answer to the grave. Well, a, what do we always say? Deny, deny, deny till the day you die. Therefore, if that's the if that's the story he's going with, and he's sticking with it, do you fault him for sticking with the story? I mean, you can stick with the story you want all you want. I just don't agree with it. <laughs> You can stick with it. That's great. He's holding on to that. I, I believe he even has merch. Someone told me at the party <laughs> that he has merch. And I'm like, that's great for you. I still don't Choke believe it. Choke or spanked. 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, Sean, Sean, right Sean, with you. Sean Stokes has to tell us if he sees any choked and spanked T-shirts or hats floating around Dallas. Because I'm curious if that's going to wind up taking off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Tehu says, Patrice was into it. Look where that got her. Because she did say, hey, if I got that text, I wouldn't think anything of it. But yeah, but you said you had a different kind of relationship with him. And that's all Koshia was saying. Regardless of whether he meant it sexual or not. And that was that was the way to kind of clear this. Oh, crap, you're getting mad about it. His way to clear it was, oh, it wasn't sexual. You just took it. Yeah. They weren't on that level. So therefore, at least that we saw. Therefore, that's why that was an inappropriate question. But I mean, it's probably the opening statement from Lamar, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm even going to read this one. I'm not even going to read this one. I'll just I'll say, read well, it for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kiss me and find out. How about that? <laughs> oh snap. <laughs> well, I guess I guess Alonzo wasn't lying. He said if you've ever been kissed, you would know, huh? <laughs> Terrell says kiss him and find out. <laughs> Hey, by the way, Tanya says, I live in Dallas. If I see one, I'll snap a pic for you. Yeah. Somebody, mm. please, if y'all see it, I, I got I to gotta know. I didn't see the merch there, but there was someone mm. there that uh, I think friends with him or something. She was telling me, yeah, he has merch. And, da, da, da. and I was like, for real? Yeah. All right. Um, by the way, um, Celery08 says, Alonzo apparently apologized to Koshia after that um, remark and production made them discuss it again on camera. Of course. I'm like, right. This is gold. Yeah. Again, what, 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 what do you mean? I, I don't care that you apologized. What? Oh, you don't want to do it? You want your check? Yeah. Oh, we're going to we're gonna talk about the <laughs> editing. After, after we get through the recap and we talk about the people that we met in person, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the cast, we'll, we're going to share some stuff that they share with us that I was like, ooh, this is so good for people that watch these reality shows to hear and understand. So, right. Uh, by the way, Michelle is absolutely right. Y'all hit the like button. Thank you very much. And uh, Pink Butterfly has this question as before we move on. Didn't Koshia say she would be ass up, face down? Yes, but like she also said, LaRon knows, Chaz knows. The reason Alonzo didn't know because they didn't have that connection. Right, right. So, I can't. She it, it's okay to, what, what fellas always say, lady in the streets, freak in the sheets. Well, that means for the right person, right? Well, it's just you can have those type of conversations with people that you're in that type of situation with. If you're not attracted to somebody mm -hmm. and they ask you something crazy, you're offended, you're upset. If yeah. you are interested and attracted to the person and they ask you something, then it's like, oh, you know, it depends. I mean, a little choke. You know, don't, <laughs> don't spank me too hard. You know, it could be funny. Who knows? But like, I watch Game of Thrones. Don't spank. Right. <laughs> um, they got to this game. Who said this? Right. Mm -hmm. And. The, uh, I wanted to experience the hotter side of Rashina. Laurent bet, said he would bet his car that it was Chaz, and he was right. Yeah, it was Chaz. Hundred percent, hundred percent right. That sound. As soon as he read it, I'm, I said that was Chaz. I'm like, that sounds. Like some smooth, <laughs> that sounds something the smooth, petrified flower man would say. I was yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so who said this? The next one was for me. It's gonna be Spank. Every and everyone thought it was Patrice. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. But come to find out, no. It was Rashina. Yeah. Yeah. Well you she surprised said, you don't, don't don't choke no. Cause I remember it. I remember that that whole episode. Um but yeah, she said, Don't choke me, you can spank me all day. And then <laughs> Alexis was like when they said Patrice, Alexis was like she doesn't want to be spanked all day. I'm like, Alexis, it's a phrase. No one's gonna get spanked all day. Even kids don't get spanked all day, so Calm and down. by this time, Alexis hadn't turned up a whole lot. Were you like, uh, were you already done because of the preview? Is that what it was? No, I just noticed that she seemed to be a, a lot more vocal in interjecting herself when it wasn't necessary. Right. And uh, Laurent did point that out at the, at the party. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, the other one uh, was about Will <laughs> being tall, but kind of silly. And what, 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 what was he called again? Uh, Jeffrey the giraffe from Toys R Us <laughs> mixed with Forrest Gump. <laughs> Yo, and the funny thing about it, Will thought Mika said it. Mika's like, I ain't say it. Laurent thought it was Koshir. She's like, hey, it wasn't me. I ain't yeah. say it. 
Come to find out there's somebody I forgot that was even on the show in the first place. I I, I forgot about her. I, I, I think y'all had mentioned her name and I completely forgot her name. April, the was. one that was too good for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Also she but thought. She was wrong for saying that. And then even she tried to clip, well, you know, he is tall. So <laughs> I'm not making that up. But, you know, I, I think she recognized that it was bad comment that she said at that time. And Will William was cool with it. He was just like, hey, you know, I'm not tripping. It's no big deal. But he's a comedian. Him. You got to be able to, you got to be able to take a joke if you're going to give the joke. Exactly. Exactly. So he he took it well. So he was just like, Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not even worried about it. You know, he was like, let's just move on. And Tommy did. He did. And then that's when the fireworks began because um, it came up, the whole discussion on snakes. How did that come up? Uh, Tommy brought, it was a quote that, uh, Mm -hmm. and I think it started with, you know, when Laurent brings up snakes or something like that. And Laurent first thing was, yeah, Alexis. And Alexis was like, no, you know, I didn't say it. And that's what started to set off all this argument. We, we if you were listening closely, you eventually find out who said it, but it took a yeah. while. <laughs> <laughs> it took a while because there's a whole lot going on. So let's just get to who to, who who said it. Because I, I actually had went back and rewinded to realize, wait a minute, who's wearing that? Oh. Yeah, the red jacket. Yeah. yeah. It was, it, was like, William. Oh, it, it was William, which yeah, William. makes sense because remember, Laurent thought it was Alexis, then he thought Dominique, right? And Dominique, like, how, how you how you put me in this? How you put me in this? And come to find out, no, it was William who actually said it. Yeah, so William's the one that said it. You're not surprised uh, though because but, he got he's Laurent's the one that got him out, got him kicked out. Yeah, of the house. yeah, because they have the issue over the whole texting thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Yeah, I, I could see William saying that. And then Alexis says, Laurent's the biggest snake of the whole group. And Laurent, of course, is like, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she just starts going in, you know, calling him a dork. And that whole exchange, because the first part of it, it's a little edited. Then when they come back after the commercial, it kind of gives you a little bit more of it. But mm-hmm. I wish there was a lot more footage to see because apparently Laurent was telling her, well, you're sitting next to me being all chummy. And she's mm-hmm. like, when? He goes, you were sitting right there. You are whispering in my ear and you had your dress on me and stuff like that. And she mm-hmm. just took that as called him a dork and all that other stuff. And then she just went off. Mm-hmm. And Alonzo was trying to, you know, calm people down. Then Will makes a you know comment about Leron. It just got messy. It got it got messy real fast because Will jumps in, calls Leron a clown. Alonzo's trying to get Leron to chill. He's like, come on, Leron, just chill. And you know, you see that they actually have this this friend, so he's kind of like, yo, man, let's just get this. And he tries to get Alexis to leave. Then Justin asks her to leave, and she turns on Justin because she's sitting right next to him. And Justin was like, you know what? I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Yeah. Justin didn't give two ups. He was like, yo, you don't even know me. because I don't have to know you. He said, like, here, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> See, try that. <laughs> try that. <laughs> Justin was funny. Um, yeah. And then, you know, then all of a sudden she wants to turn and look at Mika and like, you know, B, I'll, I'll beat you up. And, and then she's threatened to fight guys or she's ready to fight everybody mm-hmm. at this thing. I'm like, Alexis, what is your deal? So um, again, apologies to Koshia because I said after mm-hmm. first episode or, or actually third episode, Koshia is going to be one through reunion. So Koshia, I apologize. It's not you. I had no idea that you know, this, this little hell spawn that was inside Alexis was about to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Which, according to Koshia, is what had been happening all season long. Now, Ayo, before we continue on this, Ayo Fatu says, uh, is it me who doesn't get the dork insult? Is that a bad thing? It's a childish insult. I mean, it's not yeah. bad. You can let it go, but... Um... They got smoke for each other, so it didn't. For it didn't, people, didn't, hey, yeah. but people in New Jersey, they don't play that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't call people from New Jersey a door. <laughs> hey, Alexis, Alexis versus everybody, man. Um, and and apparently, Will talked a lot about the whole um, Laron and Alexis, but we've seen this brewing, right? And right. the way this is going, just. Will tries to calm Alexis down. She tells him, hey, get your hands off me. Then she threatens Mika. And it's like, oh, you're st- I'll beat the F out of you, right? Then then Will just says, all right, you know what? You ain't that heavy. Come here. Picks up. Yeah. Takes off. Because the first time I saw this, I thought it was security dragging her out. Then I realized the second time, no, oh, that's Will. 
Will actually took her and and dragged her out of the studio, right? Um, mm -hmm. And she she was not leaving without letting her voice be heard at all. No, she letting everybody hear mm -hmm. her voice. And first off, I I would put my money on Mika all day mm -hmm. in the fight with her and Alexis. So sorry, but why? Because remember, Alexis is an athlete too now. And okay, what do you think? Because Mika's tall. I think reach doesn't yeah. matter in a fight. It's not about reach. You're going boxing technique. I'm not doing that. I'm just yeah, looking in saying. the eyes. I look at Mika in the eyes. I look at Alexis in the eyes. Alexis is like in this situation. She's like a little, little, uh, those little dogs that just like to bark and yap. The ch chihuahua and make okay. noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a little chihuahua. Because if she wanted to hit her, she would have, or if she could mm -hmm. have. She was right there. She's not. She's just making all that noise. Mm -hmm. Where I don't think Mika plays like that. So I just think Mika mm -hmm. would be able to handle her. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> but so Alexis yeah. is, you know, out there just, you know, F you to everybody. You know, I didn't pay. Did she say she paid a rack to come out to mm -hmm. this thing and to be yeah, disrespected mm -hmm. and all this stuff? I'm like, why'd you pay? So Would much you like money? to know what a rack is? Rent it. <laughs> why not just rent well, the outfit? Why? <laughs> I'll have Will buy it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Matthew saying allegedly she was mad. Laurent called her coke. I guess there's a lot more. Of course, we one of the things we do know is this wasn't just a a two hour um, show, right? right? Never is. It's the reunions are always a lot longer than you see, which is why you always see different people on stage, different people backstage. Oh, they're right. coming back in because I like when they start. I like when they started going to this format of showing some of the stuff, like calling all the cast back up front. You know, all this other stuff because they start to do it on all the reunion shows now, right? And it's cool because you get to see a little bit behind the curtain of what's actually happening. Um, mm -hmm. So there's a lot that happened that we really don't know. But what we do know <laughs> is that uh, uh, Alexis is like, all right, I'm done. They're like, well, just come on, let's get you in the confessional booth. I'm not doing no damn confessional. Yep. <laughs> you already got my confession. Here's my yeah. confession. I'm leaving. Yeah. And Will's trying to tell her, don't. Don't let them get the best of you. And they're not getting the best of me. They're getting the worst of me. They're getting the worst of me. I was like, oh my goodness, woman. <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. Um, the whole, you knew what he meant. Right. He knew what he meant. And she was like, F what you meant. <laughs> Let me tell you what you're getting. What you call it? The hell spawn? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I hope. I wonder if she's gonna go on any podcast or any do any interviews because I feel like you want to explain yourself. I've tried to look at some of her IG. She hasn't posted. At least I don't. I don't follow her back, mm -hmm. or I don't follow her. But I just kind of look to see what she has publicly. So maybe she has some stuff. But I don't want to follow her now. I don't want all that crazy energy in my DMs. <laughs> well, I heard I'm what you said on the podcast. I will come to Austin and beat you up. I'm like, calm that down. Matter of fact, she's at your door right now. <laughs> See, this is why you don't get everybody a key. Because <laughs> if she had a key, she can just show up. <laughs> uh, yo, this means, th the question becomes, do you think she's even coming back for the second part of the reunion? Because this is the end of the first part. What happens on the second part? Yeah, I don't know. I, I hope she does, because maybe she can explain a little bit of why she was so hot or something. Uh, mm -hmm. but you know, I, I don't know the way it looks like she's leaving, but I'm hoping that they talk her into staying because mm -hmm. I would like to hear more about some of the stuff that happened to, for, for the whole cast to have this animosity towards her that yeah. we didn't get a chance to see. I would love to hear what happened. Yeah. Um, well, she, Oprah may not be happy at her either. Cause, uh, like Michelle said, I think, um, Alexis broke owns camera, <laughs> sent her a bill. Um, mm. by the way, uh, Sean says, Alexis went from zero to a thousand and Terrell's attraction went from a hundred to zero. Yeah, I don't No, Not a good look. I hope she gets <laughs> whatever she's dealing with, whatever bothered her. Maybe it's just that the, she just didn't click with this whole group and she has her other friends and she can move on and be happy and successful. Yeah, but that's not a good look. Yeah. Dorica says, I personally wouldn't care if she doesn't come back. Yeah. Well, you, we'll see. you feel the same? No, no, I want her to come back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've said it already. I want her to come back. Just making sure. 
<laughs> in case I change my mind in the last two minutes. Hey, yes. you change your you change your mind off one preview. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, no, I didn't. I changed my mind after watching the whole thing because at first I thought she said in the preview that she wanted to fight Laurent. That's what mm. I thought I saw in the preview. But then watching mm. how everything all played out, no. Um, I got I got to clear the one for this one because. Um, Nick Pick says, I think Terrell's secretly attracted to crazy. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> no. Y Yanni knows me for 30 years. Now, no, one I knew the minute he saw that, that it was just like, yep, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Not one crazy have I had in my life. So, no, that's something I don't do. Yeah. But all that stuff that she did, that was wild. Um, Layla says, would either of you guys fight a crazy woman? Well, first of all, I don't answer hypothetical questions, so tell. <laughs> I wouldn't fight a woman. Exactly. I would, yeah, I wouldn't fight a woman. I would just walk away, remove myself from the situation, mm -hmm. best I can. So, exactly. I can't. I can't see me, myself being in a situation like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, and empowered uh, by purposes, I think she was angry about things we don't know about. Yes, and so great transition into. Um, to uh, the party, the watch party. Yeah, it was it was cool being there, meeting meeting the guys. Um, because none of the women were there, right? Um, right. Did you ever get an answer as to why um none of the women were there? No, I didn't get a I didn't get a I didn't get an answer. I would repeat. I'll just say that. But <laughs> no, I, I I didn't get a real answer that I would say this is why the women weren't there. Uh, but it's just interesting that a lot of, because I would have thought at least a couple of them, I thought I thought y'all were cool with Koshia, I thought y'all were cool with this, but apparently there's a lot of things that transpired um, since the reunion. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. no, it seems like everybody's not really all that cool for the most a lot part. A lot of relationships that happened in between um, uh, and we'll have them tell it. Rather than right. uh, sell it in that space. But yeah, there's a lot, a lot of stuff that happened um, off camera, which we knew that's where a lot of some of the other stuff, by the way, Jay Blake says, tell us, Terrell. Nope. <laughs> I'll let them tell it. It's their story to tell. But I do think that the, the, the venue, I forget the name of the place that we went to, but that food was slamming. The food was mm -hmm. good. Yeah, uh, um, it was at Brew City uh, Kitchen and Cocktails. By yeah. the way, Monica asked, was Justin there? Justin was not there. So who was there? Laron, Chaz. Laron, Chaz. Lamar. Alonzo, 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 Lamar, Dante, mm -hmm. and AKA Captain Crunch. Gotcha. Go ahead. Just for those. Did you say Jonathan minutes. already? No, I didn't say Jonathan already. Yeah. So I think that was it. Mm -hmm. And then they had a cast. Um, some of the cast members from the Dallas DC. season. They had some of the cast members. A lot of the guys from the uh, DC season were there too, um, as well. So. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> Sanan's fan says, was Jahan there? No, he wasn't. At least we didn't see yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't see him. But by the time I got the reunion was over, I was how many vodkas in by then? Way too many. To count. Yeah, so it's so many that like you know, 930, we're like, let's get some lamb chops mm -hmm. and some shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> and then went to Golden Chick afterwards. <laughs> Hey, still had to get all the food in, man. Um, <laughs> so takeaways from from even being there, meeting the guys and, and some of the the stuff that you got from them without giving, giving away too much of it. I think that when you, well, first off, Alonzo is Alonzo in person as well as what you see on TV. So he's highly entertaining and he's funny. Uh, but as you start to talk to some of these folks and you start, I mean, I was asking them questions about the editing. You know, there's a whole lot that goes into this editing that we don't see. There's also producers are encouraging people to go after connections that they don't even want to be with. But the producers are trying to make a lot of this stuff happen for the show. And so it's really interesting to, to hear some things. And those are some things that they're going to share with us when they do their, their interviews. So I mm -hmm. thought that was cool. Chaz was actually really cool in person. Mm -hmm. You know, so I know people towards the latter part of the season, they had their issues with Chad. Chad's really cool and engaged to be mm -hmm. married. So yeah. I'm, I'm they did, happy they did tease him. that on the, uh, on, yeah. for, for parts of the reunion. Yeah. yeah. He's did. got his date set already. Yeah. Got his date set. So he's engaged to be married. So he's in a good place. And all of them really seemed like they were in a good place despite um, 
everything that we might have saw on TV. Mm -hmm. I'll say the one thing that I think is the one person that editing had nothing to do with mm -hmm. is Lamar. Lamar is mm -hmm. Lamar. What you see on TV, <laughs> all that's day, Lamar every in person day. all day. I don't think there was any editing on Lamar at all. You know, and uh, Jonathan, Jonathan was really cool. He was, and he's, he's a pretty quiet dude, I would say. Cause you know, he's wasn't yeah. all that wild. Maybe he wasn't drinking tequila like they did at the, uh, the, was it the getaway or when they played the game. So he wasn't. Well, they also didn't play, night, but... they didn't play any, uh, uh, George Clinton either. So you might've yeah. seen another side of him. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, they were, they were all really cool guys to talk to. Um, but a lot of editing goes on. And so I hope that they share some of that with you. You get a chance to see it, but overall, I thought it was, was a great experience. Yeah. Um, Monica also asked, is Laron Laron? Cause you said Lamar is Lamar. <laughs> is Laron Laron. Hey, the first thing, as soon as he walked up, made a joke about, um, the Jersey thing <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Well. We, Cause it's one of the things when we, when we first interviewed him, it was like, Hey, and they say they they watch they watch this as well too, and they watch a couple others as well. But it's understanding that hey, they joke with each other like that, right? So mm -hmm. and kind of get so yeah, I think he is. I mean, in in the sense of what we saw was yeah, back to the streets. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, he was he was just like what what you see on on camera. Really great, you know, personality. He's very social, you know. So people might try to say things about him, but he was working the room, talking. To, all of them were. I mean, they were all mm -hmm. really engaged with everybody that was there. So again, a lot of editing stuff happens. Now, I'm, I'll, I've even said this to them. Hey, well, you did say that, though, this part. Mm -hmm. You said that. Yeah. They're like, well, yeah, but out of context. I'm like, yeah, but you still said it, right? Mm -hmm. And they get that. And I think they've handled this whole situation pretty well. Yeah, because even um, in the real, you see where um, Alonzo is saying, hey, you got to understand there's a lot edited here, the production has what they want, it is scripted. And scripted in the sense that they do put people in situations, right? And then when they put them in the situations, then they, but it's up to you to react in that situation. It's also why they keep pumping people with alcohol because then the, 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 the um, limiter comes off. Yeah, <laughs> And yeah. now that go-kart can really fly. And, so that's, and, that's what happens in those, in those spaces. And I'll even, I'll drop this one nugget, right? Because I don't know if we're mm -hmm. gonna get Chaz to be able to come on, but I was talking with Chaz and I was like, so, Help me understand the whole Patrice thing. He goes, honestly, the producers made that happen. So mm -hmm. when they show Patrice, like, you know, hey, you haven't called me, whatever. He said the producers really encouraged that. He wasn't supposed to, she really wasn't a connection for him. But he hmm. did say he would, um, and I did talk to him about coming on. He said, not, not this week, but probably next week. So after yeah. the, the final reading. After so the, after, yeah, after the final reading yeah. episode. So he'll be able to spill some tea. So. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, it was really good. I, I can't complain about the experience and, and getting a chance to hang out with everybody and meeting mm -hmm. the, the cast from other seasons I never watched. Um, but mm -hmm. also, you know, getting a chance to see the, the guys from this cast. It was, it was fun. Um, <laughs> V's funny. So V says, uh, glad Chaz found someone to caress that S curl. He cut it. It's not yeah. an S curl. <laughs> he cut it. But he's he looks cut like his he, he looks like he's, he looked a lot slimmer in the face too mm -hmm. from the reunion to what we saw Friday. So it looks like mm -hmm. I think he slimmed down a little bit. He's still yeah. he's still pretty jacked, but I think he's kind of slimmed down a little bit. Yeah. Um, Lasagna says, um, just to reiterate, aren't you guys glad you came back to review this season? It's been an entertaining reviewing season. Mm. It's been entertaining because of all y'all in the chat. If we mm -hmm. when we first started doing recaps, we would just do the recap and record it and then mm -hmm. drop it. And yeah. that if we were still doing that, this would have been painful because then we'd have to try to feed off each other, motivate each other. But all the people in the chat, y'all are what makes it fun and, and funny. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there's people in this chat that know some of these folks. So we get a chance to get yeah. a little bit more insight. So it was great. Big shout out to Sean Stokes. You know, he was first one there <laughs> beside the manager <laughs> that opened up the place. Sean had texted me and said, what time y'all... Uh, he said, be careful with the traffic. And I was like, oh, we got here like about three. Um, I said, what time are you getting there? He said, I'm already here. I think it was like five o'clock. And I think it's supposed to start at seven. I thought it started at six. So we were trying to get there around 6.15. And uh, I was like, well, what's it look like? Told, he goes, I'm the I, only one I here. I told you, but you ain't listening. You ain't listening to me. <laughs> well, it, but the, the thing starts Jeez. at seven. I knew the show starts at seven. So I would have thought there'd have been a, if I was in charge of the event, there would have been a mm -hmm. get here at 6.30. I'm gonna do mm -hmm. an intro. Thank you, everybody. Here's the cast at, uh, at seven. Okay, now let's watch the show. 
And then right. after that, we would have the q and I mean, I would have done it a little bit different. So I would expect expected mm-hmm. that there would have been something. Yeah, but it all worked out, and it was fun. Yeah. Um, so Matthew asked, who sponsored it? Owen or the guys? The guys did it. The guys threw that one. The guys together. did it. Um, yeah. So it was, it was them doing it. Um, Kay Calloway asked, who is Dante? Dante was... Uh, I made the joke earlier, Captain Crunch. He's the one that was the fashion designer. 32 tattoos that all mean something. And then when someone asked him, what does that one mean? <laughs> you know, I don't know. That that was Dante. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, he was the first one to go from the show this season. He was the first one to go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> um, by the way. Um, Ariadne asked about this earlier, right? She said, she said, well, she said this earlier. She meant Patrice said she found out about the sex three days after he gave her a key. The sex was three days after she gave, he gave her a key. That doesn't, that's, okay. that's, 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 yeah, that doesn't, yeah. So, I, I mean, the timing of all that back then, I, it, the, the timing seems off even in May and October yeah. from when they did it, so. Yeah, that, don't know. She said they had sex back in May. They were still mm-hmm. filming the regular season during May. And so then they go to the reunion. So I don't know who cares. Mm-hmm. They're not together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way. Yep. Another one says Demonte, not Demonte. Dante. Dante was in uh, Potomac. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are wild. <laughs> yeah. All right. What, um, so what we got next? We've got shoosh. Married at first sight on Thursday. No, tomorrow we're gonna do Summer House. I'm sorry, yep. Tuesday. Yep. Tuesday. Tuesday we got Summer House. Thursday we yep. got Married at First Sight. And yep. maybe and then, we can try to get Alonzo this week. This week? Yeah. And then we'll do Ready to Love Reunion Part Two probably what, Sunday? Sunday. Next Sunday? All right. Yeah. So there we go. Do us a favor, man. Um appreciate you. But please hit that like button. Um if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and if you are, then please hit the bell for notifications so you can find out when we do go live and when we do drop new content. All right? Yeah, definitely. Thanks again for the people in the chat this whole season for making this fun. Because it, this would have been a rough one if we didn't have all of you. <laughs> uh, was uh, Let's see. What, okay, my bad. All right. We out, man. Uh, Got to go. Yep. Oh, by the way, Michelle, we are talking about it. We'll see. She says, for those of you never, never, ever met, met on own. We're thinking about it. We'll see. We're talking about it. Yeah. At least I, I've got telling discussions. So Cross my lawyers are talking to his lawyers. We're trying to see if we can make a deal work. <laughs> Call the prayer warriors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Yanni Rude. And I'm just Terrell. Make sure you follow us at Yanni Rude, at Just Terrell, and at RGRT Pod. Yeah, send us some of your random thoughts from the Bullshit Fire Internet. We'll talk about it on the show. It's the Regular Guys Random Thoughts Podcast. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>